Hey Zips fans, Chad Walker here with head men's basketball coach John Gross. And coach, uh, I know you had a close scrimmage this past weekend. Uh, kind of just give us a recap of the last time since we talked and uh, a little bit of that close scrimmage. Well, I thought we learned a lot about our team uh, through the close scrimmage. I thought the first 20 minutes we played really well. Um, we then played uh, a second and a third 20-minute scrimmage, and uh, we stunk. We just didn't play very good. Um, didn't like the fact that we weren't very consistent um, with a lot of things. Uh, but the first 20, I thought we were really good. Played a lot of combinations. We played big. We played small. We played everybody. We rotated a little bit like it was a hockey game uh, to try to learn more about our team. Um, and so that may be part of it, but we can't have any excuses. I mean, you, I tell them all the time, you, you lace it up, you got that name on front of the jersey, you better bring it. Uh, we didn't do that in the second and third scrimmage. Um, from an execution standpoint, I thought that our transition game was really good. We got out, we ran. Um, you know, I thought we had some good defensive possessions, but we've got to be a lot more consistent, clean a lot of things up here uh, heading into Friday night's exhibition game against West Virginia. Before we get to talk about that West Virginia contest, uh, last time we talked, we talked about your transfers in Xavier and KJ. This time I want to kind of talk about the guys who have been with your program with Brian Trimble, Greg Tribble, and Ali Ali. Just where are they at in this preseason? Yeah, I mean, obviously those guys, Enrique, Mike Dawson, and Greg Tribble were relying a lot on them for leadership. Um, Brian obviously has a lot of experience, which is always extremely helpful. Um, and that part's good. Ali Ali, same thing. Uh, he's been on a championship level team, started half the games as a freshman and uh, all of them last year. So those guys, we expect a lot out of those guys. Um, to whom much is given slash earned, you know, there's a lot expected of them. Uh, from a leadership standpoint, from an example standpoint, uh, I think some of them are trying to figure that out. Uh, that uh, That's a great responsibility and uh, you know, one that we need them to take on and uh, be consistent uh, with their everyday effort, their everyday focus, their everyday attitude. Now we move into the uh, exhibition game, which is a charity kind of game against West Virginia. Um, what do you expect to see from your team heading down to Morgantown? Well, I hope we can improve, uh, obviously, from what we did this past weekend in the private scrimmage. I mean, that's we want improvement this time of year. You know, we're basically – you know, 14 days away, two two weeks away from today, college basketball starts November 9th on a Tuesday night. So we're trying to track to keep getting better every day, control what we control. Every day matters, and certainly the exhibition game on Friday night matters in terms of our growth and development as a team. Uh, biggest thing, they always challenge you. You know, I've got so much respect for Coach Huggins and, and how he does it. But you always know when you play as teams, they're going to challenge your toughness. They're going to challenge you on the backboard. They're going to challenge you in taking care of the ball. Uh, they play so hard and with the physicality about them. So that's going to be great for our team. Um, and uh, anxious to see as we get ready in preparation for Friday, we'll you know, certainly emphasize those things. But at the end of the day, actions speak louder than words. So we got to make sure that we're ready to go in that department uh, for Friday night. And then lastly, on Friday night, this will be the first time uh, in a long time where uh, you're going to have a building that's pretty packed for with people coming in. How nice is it going to be to be back for, for the guys? Great. I mean, we're looking forward to that. I mean, college basketball is such a great uh, sport. Obviously, I know I'm biased, but, I mean, it's the best. So to be able to have part of that is our fans. You know, we're looking forward to having our fans back in the jar, you know, and we'll look forward to playing in front of a great crowd, hopefully on Friday night as well. I mean, it's just a great privilege, great opportunity to coach in those type of environments again and uh, certainly for our players, the opportunity to play in those type of environments. Thanks, Coach, for your time as always. Of course, fans, we want to see you here at James A. Rhodes Arena. November 13th will be the home opener. Be sure to get your tickets today by calling or texting 888-99-ACRON. For the Zips Digital Network, this is Chad Welker. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, go Zips!